Hi, I'm Hayden McRobbie. I'm the Ministry of Health's Childhood Obesity Target Champion. I'm also a Professor in Public Health Interventions at Queen Mary University of London. I've worked in behaviour change medicine for over 17 years now, in the fields of both smoking cessation and adult obesity. It's important that every healthcare professional addresses childhood obesity. In New Zealand, 11% of all kids aged between 2 and 14 are obese. This rises to 15% among Māori and up to 30% among Pacific kids. Obesity in children is associated with a number of problems. For example, musculoskeletal disorders, asthma, sleep apnea, and even psychological problems such as low self-esteem. We owe it to these kids to help them grow into healthy adults, and simple, brief interventions from healthcare professionals can have an impact. A lot of healthcare professionals worry about these types of conversations. They worry that they're going to offend the parent, or even upset the child. The fact of the matter is that these brief conversations can really have a big impact. But you have to do this sensitively. Obviously, parents are doing the best they can for their kids. And this may be the first time they've even heard that their child is overweight or obese. Come from a caring point of view. After all, we want to help these kids grow into healthy adults. Make your conversation positive and non-judgmental. That's going to give the best effect. It's important that we monitor children's growth because growth is a good indicator of general health and well-being. Monitoring growth over time also gives the healthcare professional a way to take action. Also, parents like to see how their child's growing. So plotting the child's growth on a age sex specific growth chart is the way to go. Monitoring growth can also help guide action. For example, if you're monitoring growth on a regular basis and you can see growth going askew, then you can make changes to fix that. And it's better to identify changes early than leave it till late. Body mass index, or BMI as it's commonly known, is a measurement of weight versus height. It gives us an indicator of health risk. That is, the higher the BMI, the higher the risk to health. In adults, we simply measure this as weight over height squared. In children, though, it's a little bit more complex than this because we have to take into account the age and the sex of the child. In New Zealand, we use the NZWHO growth charts for monitoring children's growth. BMI is not a perfect measure, though. For example, it doesn't distinguish between fat mass and lean body mass, but it gives us a good indicator of health. The next step is to manage. That is, help the child achieve a healthy weight. Now for kids, it's not about helping them lose weight. It's about helping them grow into a healthy weight. And there are three main strategies to do this. One is changes in food. Two, changes in physical activity. And this includes decreasing the amount of screen time and making sure they get the right amount of sleep. Thirdly, behavioural strategies can help cement these other two in place. The final step is to, of course, maintain these changes. And integrating things into everyday life are often the best way to go. Making sure this is a family-based intervention where everyone in the family is increasing their physical activity and improving their nutrition. And that way we'll get the biggest changes over time. The key message for healthcare professionals is that big changes can start small. Making small changes in food, the way we eat, the way the family eats, appropriate portion sizes, plenty of vegetables and fruit, changes in physical activity, decreasing screen time, less than two hours, and getting the right amount of sleep. It's important for healthcare professionals to monitor growth. This should be done on a regular basis. For kids that are obese, this is probably at least every three months for kids of a healthy weight every year. Make your conversations positive and non-judgmental. Don't forget, parents are trying hard. Sometimes the environments in which they live doesn't make it easy. All of these things over time can have a positive effect on children's growth. Remember, we're not about helping kids lose weight. This is all about helping kids grow into a healthy weight and into healthy adults.